guys, what's up? Kate here from MB Tennis. Hope you guys are doing great today. Today I'm gonna take you guys through what my day looks like on the on the court prior to a match. So yeah, tomorrow we play Franklin Pierce at three o'clock. So I'm here with John B. What's up, legends? We are pushing the ball shopping cart yes. up to the courts right now. Just walking to the courts on the field. Just got some work done on my shoulder, his neck. And it's a beautiful so day outside. It is, like, a, it is so a beautiful nice. day. So we actually have a really like crazy week coming up. So today is a uh, is Monday. Had class today. Eight. Like I said, went to the trainers. Going to pick up a recruit from Germany from the airport today to see the campus and stuff. So that's exciting. That'll be happening after practice. But like I said, crazy week. Tuesday, which is tomorrow, probably Franklin Pierce. Like I said, my parents are coming to watch that, so that's really exciting. Wednesday, we play Stonehill. Thursday, we have a day off. Well, of matches, we'll be practicing. Friday, we have no matches. Saturday, we play Bentley. And then, excuse me, then we have Sunday off, and Monday, we're playing Lemoyne. So, it's gonna be a crazy week. Yeah, uh, go down the season. So hopefully get the W. So I know. So the season is coming to an end. Yeah. Uh, and a couple of matches and the playoffs start. Hopefully we can make it to the NCAAs too. So and to the, tomorrow's senior day too. So we gotta mm -hmm. get all that stuff going we for some of the seniors, the girls and the guys. But uh, we'll be at the courts here shortly, and you guys can watch. Yeah. All right, guys. So here we go. We uh, starting just with down the middle here. We actually did mini tennis before, and I actually forgot to put the camera up. Of course, that's something that I would definitely do. But yeah, we did some mini tennis. Then we're moving back here, just rallying from the baseline down the middle. Uh, we actually switched sides because the day that we were doing this was was really windy. So we want to make sure that we're we're practicing on both sides because when we play a match we're going to be playing on both sides so when we go into cross courts later we'll also be switching sides as well uh, just to practice with that win so basically right now still hitting down the middle john has switched sides we're just working on moving around the ball keeping our feet active just trying to start feeling the ball especially given that we have a match the next day so nothing too special right now. Now we move into some of the cross courts on the backhand. John is a lefty, so he's on his backhand side, and I'm on my forehand side. Sometimes just simple drills like this. I didn't do a lot of stuff like this when I was a junior, just because I didn't really have that many people to hit with, but stuff like this, just regular cross courts the day before match, I think is a great idea because for me, I'm not thinking about too much. It's just like, okay, let's get the ball in the corner. Let's get the ball in the court. Let's start to feel the ball, get a rhythm. So this is definitely like, I don't even want to call it a drill because cross courts, like regular, don't really seem like a drill to me, but more hitting. So these kind of hitting exercises that are extremely simple, uh, I feel like are beneficial to, to do prior to matches. And as you can see, John's hitting some slices here, some forehand slices. Whether they're in or out, it doesn't really matter because we're just, at the end of the day, trying to get a feel. Um, because the day before this, we actually had a day off. Uh, so just trying to get that feel again, nothing too intense yet. The other thing that I think the cross courts let you do too um, is to let you have some some freedom with what you want to do with the ball. So like I said, like there's a couple slice forehands from John, uh, or from me on the other side, like something I'll do is like a little game within my head. So 
this even works well on the backhand too, but if I'm on the forehand, I can hit a flat one, I can hit a high loopy one that's like a window three, or then a one that's like regular rally ball window two. So to help you get that rhythm, you can kind of like alternate one, two, three, and then hit like a slice to really like get all of your shots like warmed up. So now we're back on the backhand side, and I'm back on the side with the camera, once again for the wind. When we're doing cross courts um, on the backhand side, for me, something that is really important for me, and I think a lot of people should do this, is to hit your forehand from your backhand side, especially if you have a solid forehand or you use your forehand as a weapon. Uh, or even if you don't, it's good to practice hitting your forehand from your backhand side because you can take control from the ad side with your forehand. So this is something that I do and it's a way to work on your inside out. So another little thing I'll do, especially when we do these like low, uh, low volume like hitting drills are hitting drills. It's, it's fun to just do little games that are like, okay, I'm gonna hit a backhand slice, then I'm gonna hit a, a regular backhand, then I'm gonna run around and hit um, and inside out so you can kind of create like little patterns with yourself and then at the same time try not to miss uh, because at the end of the day it's a hitting you're trying to get lots of reps so I really actually like just doing this hitting stuff especially for a change like I did not do a lot of this stuff at all when I was younger uh, because I didn't have a lot of people to hit with as you guys can see right now we're starting to rip it which is nice um, starting to really feel it I think You guys can see that I'm hitting my forehand here. So normally I'll hit backhands at the start, but then I will slowly start hitting some slices and then also uh, starting to run around it. And then near the end of the, the, the backhand cross court, you might see me go uh, inside in just to like work on that as well. But obviously it's a cross court exercise, so I'm like not going down the line a lot. But yeah, once again, getting the feel uh, getting some rhythm, oh, trying to have good spacing. That's actually something that you guys might have noticed here like a minute or so ago. Like there was a couple shanks. Um, I'm not moving my feet and I'm not being well spaced around the ball. So those are some things that I'm just thinking about in the back of my mind. Don't want to think about too much like technical stuff either because it's the day before a match. Now it's, it, it's kind of like uh, an extended match style warm up really. Like I'm coming to the net now hitting some volleys and um, just warming up the net. Don't wanna do, once again, too much like drill stuff. Uh, today is like really dedicated to a lot of hitting, point play, as you guys will see, we'll do some sets later as well. So yeah, John will come to the net here after I do some uh, volleys and overheads. Really right now, I'm really just trying to get my volleys past the service line uh, or, or to three quarter court. This is something that is a simple task, uh, but yet when you do it, it makes you feel good. So when, when you're trying to get your overheads and your volleys past the service line, uh, it's just like a little like, what do you call that? Um, little task for you to, to try and handle, but it's manageable. So if you can create these tasks, when you're doing these little hitting warm-ups, uh, it can kind of like build confidence in a way because you're playing a game with yourself. So right now, uh, I missed an overhead there, but like, let's say I was back to doing the volleys again, try and get five, 10 volleys, three quarter court or, or, or deeper to John. And then all of a sudden it's like, oh dang, my volleys feel good. So it's kind of important that even though this is like a very low key practice setting and like these drills and exercises are not that intense, you can still kind of do stuff by yourself in your head that can kind of push you. Um, so it's not like, I don't want you guys to think like, oh my God, they're just doing volleys at the service line. Like they're not doing anything. Like, no, there's actually a lot of thought that's still, that's still being put into this. And I'm sure John is thinking about some things too. Uh, so everybody kind of has their own thing. And that's one thing I've noticed, like when people share these kind of videos, like they don't necessarily say, they just say, okay, uh, you know, we're gonna do some volleys, we're gonna do some overheads, we're gonna do some ground strokes, but 
there's actually a lot of stuff that goes in, a lot of thought that goes into it, uh, even in these simple drills. So anyway, now John is at the net. He's doing the volleys. Once again, it's it's nice to to kind of throw in some different types of balls to John, especially now that I'm playing a lot of doubles, like uh, ripping it at John, hitting some at his okay, feet, slicing them at him, maybe the hitting shirt. some uh, higher spinny balls to his backhand that. volley. Uh, these are all things that are happening in matches, and me and John encourage uh, each other to do those shots to each other when we're just warming up volleys. So. We're receiving a lot of balls at our feet, especially in doubles matches, so we got to get better at that, uh, just as an example. But And the shirts have come off. Love it. Uh, that's one thing, actually, to mention as a side note. You know, it's it's been really warm here in New Hampshire, and can't complain at all because, after all, we are only like seven hours, eight hours from my doorstep. So it's kind of funny that... Uh, that we're able to play with our shirts off right now because I think it was like 18 or 19 degrees the other day when this was being recorded and at home I think it was like three degrees so very grateful to be playing with no shirt and uh, for it to be to, to be nice out and to get a tan and now we're moving into some serves this is something important about the serve too like make sure when you guys are like doing this kind of like match style warm-up that you're not just kind of like hitting serves into random places like I see that all the time with young juniors or even like college players like it looks like there's no thought into going in to where you're warming up your serve and yes that's okay for like the first three or four reps but like when I am serving even in warm-up I'm like okay slice wide or okay kick T or flat body or you know just to like get those thoughts going you know because in a match you're never, ever, ever going to just hit a serve and not think about it. Or at least you definitely shouldn't. So I'm always thinking after the first couple serves in the warm-up, I start thinking like, where am I going to serve and what kind of serve is it? Uh, generally, when we do these kind of warm-ups things, we definitely take them on each side. To maybe take about 20, 20, 15, 20-ish serves. So... I also like to take a few returns, as you just saw there, that I took from John. That's also really important. I think it's pointless to do these little match-style warm-up uh, and just do serve and watch your partner uh, hit serves by you. Like That's an opportunity that you can be working on some return. But, uh, yeah. Now we uh, are moving into some sets. So we actually play two sets here today, and I'm going to let you guys watch that. Uh, there's actually a lot, a lot of good points in here. So I'm really uh, interested to see what you guys think. And uh, yeah, we thought playing two sets would be a good idea prior to the match uh, because we didn't play the day before and we were feeling really good. So there's going to be a lot of good points in here. John plays out of his mind. So... John's awesome. He's our number one for you guys that don't know. Enjoy this match. And one little disclaimer, you might hear a couple of us uh, yell on the court. They're happy yells. <laughs> um, we're, we're, we're just really excited to be out there and we, we're pushing each other. So sometimes we're getting upset, but no hard feelings between anybody. So enjoy this. Thank you. 
Qu'est-ce qui se passe
Hello everybody. Hope you enjoyed our little practice. Uh, I had a lot of fun. Jonathan, did you have fun? Me too. It was it was interesting, a lot of screaming, but yeah. I was just gonna say, we were all like really hyped up today, so apologies if you hear uh, some, some screaming, but like, they were like happy screams, like happy tennis screams, if you know what I mean, so. Just trying to get my water bottle here. So yeah, no, really fun. Jonathan beat me two and two. Two and three. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, I know. So, anyway, excited for Franklin Pierce tomorrow. Fitness feels really good. We were just saying how we've been doing a little bit of running and some stuff on some cardio machines. Not telling our secrets. Um, but we feel really good. So, we actually thought we could have did like five sets today, which is like kind of cool. So, yeah. It was good. Yeah, he dismantled me, but it's okay. I, 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 I had really a few good, good today, points so. and Jonathan was yeah. like on fire, but like... I don't get mad when Jonathan's on fire because, actually that's a lie, I get mad because I'm losing. Well, like, like, it's, it's a good, it's a good it's thing like, yeah. because he's our number one, so if Jonathan is on fire, then we're going to get some points. <laughs> so <laughs> we're excited for that. Uh, but yeah, I don't know what the, the video looks like. I got to go back and look at that and do some chopping up so you guys don't have to sit through like two hours of video. Mm. But yeah, looks good. We did a little bit of a warm up there and then transitioned into um the sets so anyway thank you guys for watching don't forget to like and subscribe guys yeah, come on that. come on like, come on like and subscribe yeah, we love a great it job and he like is awesome like it's so fun to watch thank you so anyway i don't know what the percentage is that you guys are not watching our videos but you there's people that are watching our videos and are not subscribed so go down there and click the button come on guys come on, let's boys. do this let's do this okay love you Bye. And middle, middle, middle. And middle, yeah. And middle.